All right, so topspin is very important for control on our shots. Um, once we start swinging faster, we need it to get safety on our shots. It makes the ball curve. Also helps us with net clearance, okay? With topspin shots, we'll usually be a little bit higher over the net. And uh, so it's absolutely critical. To really understand it though, you need to know what happens around contact and how topspin is created. And that's what I want to show you right now. This right here is the Topspin Pro, excellent device for working on your topspin. We'll put a link uh, in the membership underneath some of these videos. You can check it out. You don't need this to work on your topspin, but it's an excellent tool and uh, I'm gonna use it throughout these videos a little bit. So what happens around contact so that the ball gets topspin? Okay, I really want you to understand this. The racket, very important, moves from low to high. You need to get under the ball. A lot of club level players struggle with this. So from low to high to contact, okay, approximately on basic shots, a 30 degree angle, from low to high to contact, and then we brush up the back of the ball right here, and the racket face is approximately vertical or straight up and down. This idea of coming over the ball like this, that's a myth. Now, pro players sometimes have the racket face minimally close at contact. We'll look at that closer in another video. But the general guideline, brushing up the back of the ball with the racket face vertical, you need to go from low to high to do that, okay? So from low to high, and then when I do this, you can see now the ball rotates forward, and that's really what we want. We want this forward rotation right here, swinging from low to high, and that will create topspin on our ground strokes. So let's take a look at a super slow motion here. What exactly happens around contact? We're going to swing from low to high and brush up the back of the ball with the racket face vertical approximately at contact. You can see that right here. I'm contacting the back of the ball, not the top of the ball, which is a common misconception. Let's take a closer look again here, what happens at contact. Keep in mind that that's the only thing that influences uh, what happens with our ball. So we take a closer look at what happens at contact and as you can see right now, we're simply brushing up the back of the ball from low to high. Let's take a look at, an, at a backhand example here, this time one-handed topspin backhand. And what we'll see is that again, I'm going to swing from low to high. You can see that the racket is underneath the ball. We're going to swing low to high, and then we're going to brush up the back of the ball. So let's take a closer look at that. Right here at contact, you can see the racket face is approximately vertical or straight up and down, and we're brushing up the back of the ball, not over the top of the ball. Let's take a very close look again at what happens here exactly around contact. So we're brushing up the back of the ball from low to high. And that's how topspin is created around contact. The video you just saw is a sample from my video training program on hitting your ground strokes with lots of topspin. Topspin is usually the critical element that separates players at different levels. The first step is understanding what topspin really is and what the correct swing path for topspin is. Then you have to work on your topspin ground strokes with simple step-by-step -step progressions. And that's exactly what I put together in my Mastering Topspin video training. You'll develop lots of topspin on your shots with simple step-by-step -step progressions and I'll also show you the most common topspin killers and how to avoid them. You can now try out my Mastering Topspin video training completely free for 30 days. Click the link inside this video for all the details.